Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. So in today's meditation, we are going to be inviting the energy of the Kritika new moon into our lives. We have a beautiful new moon that's going to happen in Kritika Nakshatra. And on my software, I've got it as May 23rd. 2020 and it looks to me to be about 3 a.m uh, and I'm just trying to see what time is that Sydney Australia time yeah so depending on where you are in the world uh, the time will change but we're looking at about sort of May 23rd type time I'm having a look at the planets in my software and it looks like we're going to have some significant changes coming shortly. Uh, we're going to have the Karsapa Yoga broken soon by Mercury, which will be good. And that we're looking at that sort of end of May, June type time. So I am expecting some shifts there. Hopefully I'll get to do a monthly. I don't know if I'll be doing monthlies just yet. Um, getting back to doing monthlies. One of the things I want to do is do some long range predicting. Like look at what's going to happen when Saturn's in Aquarius. Look at what happen, will happen when Saturn's in Pisces. That kind of thing. I think this is a good time to be doing that. Because with monthlies and things like that. I mean you know. The shifts are very subtle because we're not allowed to do much in the world, are we? Um, and a lot of places are in lockdown, being very conservative. Um, I, I read a headline that Cambridge University will have online classes until summer next year. So, you know, um, monthlies are interesting. I, 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 I may get back to it. It's also energy dependent. Uh, I need to have energy to do that and I'm getting better, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how I go energy wise, but I'm loving doing these meditations. For today's meditation, we're, it's just going to be brief, short and sweet because we are in Taurus here and it's Kritika Nakshatra. So we've also we've got this beautiful energy here. We've got Venus in her own house of Taurus. We've got Mercury here as well. We've got the sun and moon here. So it's quite nice energy. And when we think about Kritika Nakshatra, it's all about cutting and dividing. It's it's about so many things that I've just been reading up on the nakshatra. How I want to do this meditation this time is really to focus on the the fact that when you cut and release something, well, when you cut something, you're releasing something. You're releasing energy. So it's like when you eat food, you're cutting the food with your teeth, but you're releasing the energy of the food. So this month... What I wanted to focus on with this beautiful Kritika New Moon is I wanted to focus on the gifts that the planets are releasing to us. Because release, the planets are always releasing things, their energy, right, for us to pick up on. The good or the bad, however you want to view that, you know, there's always energy uh, coming from these planets right so what we want to do is we want to receive the good during this new moon and really that's all that we're going to do in this meditation we're just going to receive it's just going to be a time of receiving so you don't have to do any work you don't have to do anything you don't have to visualize too much as we go into this meditation you'll see it's just a matter of switch off and receive the good that the planets want to give you and that's it it's like receiving gifts upon gifts upon gifts we are in Taurus here this is the place where I tend to think you know when the energy is good here in Taurus it is all about receiving gifts you know it is about receiving beautiful things and 
you know, while we've enjoyed up until now, we've enjoyed receiving physical things. Definitely going forward, it's going to be about receiving the internal things. You know, I think a lot of people are going to be less materialistic after this coronavirus time. I think a lot of all of that is changing. Uh, People aren't going to value physical things in the same way. You know, shopping as it was once a pastime, a recreational pastime. I don't think that's going to continue, really. I think, um, you know, the gifts that we look forward to are are all the internal things, you know, that, that we get for free, right? And that we give for free and that we get for free. So, yeah, I think that's let's start the meditation we'll see where we go with it i've got a vague idea in my mind as to what's going to happen but it should be relaxing this is the kind of thing you can just put on and have in the background and you don't have to follow along you can fall asleep Um, your subconscious mind will pick up everything and yeah just uh receive 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 during this new moon Right? So new moon sometimes is a time where we plant our seeds and we put out our intentions for what we want to create it and you know achieve. But this time I'm really looking at the new moon in terms of it being a point where we stop, we breathe in deeply, we receive what the planets have to give us, the good, the good gifts that the planets have to give us. That being said... I want you to find a place where you can relax. Perhaps you're seated comfortably, perhaps you're lying down. And take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Hold for as long as you feel like. And then through your nose, have a nice, slow, long, deep exhale out. And as you do that, deep exhale out, just drop all the muscles in your body. Okay, we're going to do it again. This time on the in-breath, visualize that you're breathing in a brilliant white light. And as you do, it lights up your entire body. So you are emanating this beautiful, brilliant white light as you hold your in-breath. And you're emanating that brilliant white light. And then as you let that go through your nose, gently, slowly, deeply exhaling, the light diminishes a little bit. And now I want you to find a nice rhythm of breathing that's steady and slow you might want to put your hand on your your belly and just your diaphragm area really so it's kind of third chakra area just a little bit above your stomach put a hand there and and just feel the gentle breathing in and out and the fact that your breath is moving down down deep that you're breathing deeply, slowly, deeply, in a comfortable way. And keep visualizing that every in-breath you take lights you up in this brilliant white light. And it dims a little on the out-breath, but then you get glowing bright white light lit up through you, in you, through you, all around you as you breathe in. It strengthens that light. And with this nice rhythm of breathing in place, 
And with your eyes closed, I want you to switch on your imagination and visualize yourself lying on a very comfortable Persian rug that has been thrown in the middle of a place that's a bit like a desert. It's a bit of a sandy desert. And there are these cactus plants dotted here and there. It's nighttime. And there's this remarkable fragrance coming from this beautiful flower. I think it's called the Queen of the Night flower. It only flowers at nighttime. And I'm pretty sure they are white flowers. And they smell incredibly intoxicatingly beautiful. It's a kind of jasmine, vanilla, Lang Lang spliced fragrance. It's incredible. And as you're enjoying this beautiful fragrance from this white flower, you're looking and gazing into the night sky. It's a deep, dark, royal blue. And you're looking at the stars. And you've got your hand rested on your diaphragm. And you know that you are lit up like these white flowers as you breathe in and out. And that lovely scent is just such a gift from the gods. And you know that there are so many gifts that you are going to receive. And as you gaze up at those stars, you see, you see what looks like it could be Mercury off in the distance. And as you think about Mercury, you feel thankful to receive the many gifts that he has to give you. You feel thankful and grateful that he's given you the ability to speak. He's given you the ability to concentrate and comprehend information. He's given you the gift of logic. He's given you the gift of reason. He's given you the gift of being able to calculate with your brain and juggle several thoughts at once. How amazing. And then you're looking up at the sky, you can see another star that you think, well, that might be Venus. And you feel thankful for the gifts that Venus gives you. Venus helps you in so many ways. Above all of the gifts of Venus, the main one I think has to be self-worth. Venus makes you feel good about yourself. And that's such a gift. Because there are so many things about you that are wonderful. Your ability to love, your ability to laugh, your appreciation of the 
good things, the simple things. Venus enhances all of these natural things that you already possess within you. And as you look up at that night sky, you notice that it's night time. You notice that the sun has has sunk away far behind you. You wonder where the sun is and you think, what is the sun gifted to me? And here, the number of things, it's, it's countless. The sun is constantly showering gifts on you. From the basic thing of providing warmth to other basic things like providing fruits and vegetables. You know, every time you bite into an apple or eat a cherry or a peach, you're eating a little package of sunlight that's been trapped in that fruit. So the sun literally nourishes you every day. And the sun energizes you. It energizes your soul to express itself. When you express your true self, when you express who you are, that's the sun shining through you. And that's an amazing gift. That's an amazing quality of the sun. So that's another gift, yet another gift. As you look up at that night sky, we can see Mars. Just above the horizon somewhere, you see that, that dot and you see it's Mars and you think, yeah, I think that might be Mars. And as you contemplate Mars's role in your life, you realize, wow, Mars has many gifts for me. As Mars moves about in that night sky, he's always giving me courage, strength. Mars wants me to fight for what I believe in. fight for the good things. Mars gives me energy. Mars gives me strength. Every day, every day these planets are imparting these energies and giving you gifts. And though you're not able to see Jupiter. You know that Jupiter's out there, nearby. And as you contemplate Jupiter, receive all that Jupiter has to give. Jupiter wants you to be wise. Jupiter loves seeing you be wise and make the wise choice. Jupiter has a lot of knowledge to impart. And when you tune into that Jupiterian energy, and if you meditate on it, just for a bit, and ask for Jupiter to help you, you'll find that your ability to read and comprehend goes up. 
He wants you to take in wisdom and knowledge with ease. And that's such a gift. Such a beautiful gift that Jupiter has to give you. And next, you think about Saturn as you look at that deep royal blue sky and you contemplate that deep blue colour. You think about Saturn and Saturn's many, many gifts. The biggest gift that Saturn gives you is time. He gives you time on this planet. And that is so precious. The gift of time is one that when spent, you can never get it back, but you know, it, it feels so good to have it, doesn't it? It feels so good to have time. Time to do what you want, time to look after yourself, time to care for the others around you. Saturn gives us the great gift of knowing that we're all one. That if I help you, that's actually helping me. Saturn wants you to feel the gift of being part of humanity, which is incredible. Being a human being is an extraordinary extraordinary experience it's so precious it's so amazing and you get to have this experience and be part of something massive in the universe the gift of life is really what Saturn gives the gift of our physical bodies of our reality all the limitations are gifts believe it or not you know when he limits you when he slows things down that's a real gift because in other dimensions and in other places time is very different or non-existent so time itself is, is, is such a huge gift it's a very special experience. As you look up at that sky, you really feel grateful and thankful to the universe, to these planets that go around and around and keep imparting their gifts. Sometimes we're busy blaming the planets or saying how they're not helping. But you know, I firmly believe that while they do provide challenges, we've got to spend time being grateful for what they do for us and how this game works. And if we're really grateful, we receive more. So receive all of these gifts. Receive the good. When you look at your chart, look for the good. Look for what's great. Take time to feel good. Because that old saying, God helps those who help themselves. You know, it works with self-love as well. When you, when you love yourself and are grateful for the simple basic things in front of you, then, you know, more is given. So we're going to come back in the room. You can Wiggle your toes a bit, maybe feel your fingertips. 
Take a deep breath in, feel your lungs expand, feel your diaphragm expand, feel your body expand. One last big breath of white light. Breathe it all out, let it all go. Let any tensions go. And continue to feel grateful. Take care. And I'll see you next time.